Hello, second graders! What we're gonna do today, I don't know if you can tell by my awkward looking pizza, we're gonna talk about time today. I know you guys have already maybe talked about time in some of your other classes, maybe back in first grade, first grade a little bit, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about two different kinds of clocks. So, we have, oops, we have this clock, which we see in our classroom. Do you know what that one's called? We call that an analog clock. What about this one? What's this funny little thing in there? That we call a colon. That's what that is. So what kind of clock has a colon in it? What kind of clock would be? Our digital clock. So we already said we, we see a clock like this in our classroom or maybe at your house. Where do you see a clock that looks like that? Maybe on like one of your parents' phones or like Miss AI's watch has that on there. It's got the funny little colon in it. So we're going to talk about this one first, okay? So what do you think goes in these this first one? This first one we're going to put our... Hours. And then in these last two, we're going to put our minutes. So when we do our analog clock, which one is our hour hand? Is our hour hand the long or the short one? Our hour hand is our short arrow, which means our minute hand is our long arrow. So this is going to help us learn how to read it like this and put it into this or vice versa. Go both ways. So what I'm going to do first, we're going to talk about these numbers right here and how to find them or how to read them on here. So we already know that 12 we call o'clock, but at o'clock when we write it in numbers we do zero zero. So this is clock and then from 1 to 11 we're gonna count by fives okay so starting at 1 we have 5 and then 10 you guys know how to count by five so count along with me 15 20 25 30. 35, see if I can write it to you. 40, 45, 50, 55, that's a 50, 55. Why do I stop at 55? Why don't I go on? Why don't I make it longer? Well, I could go 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, whatever. But how many minutes are there in an hour? In an hour, we have 60 minutes. So this right here is also the same thing as 60. But it's the start of a new hour once we get to here, which is why we keep it as zeros. So if I were to write in my clock, Let's see, my shorthand at the one, and my long hand at the five. When I read my hours, we said the hours is our shorthand. My hour is gonna be one, which I'm gonna put right here. I'm gonna put it in the one spot. Why do I put it in the one spot? Why not in the 10 spot? Because in the 10th place, makes it a two digit number, which I could put, I could put the one in the tens place if it was 10, if it was 10 hours, if it was this one. But I can't do that for here because it would make it a completely different time. I could put a zero here if I wanted to. Does that change my time? Or does it still make it one? It still makes it one. So you can write a zero here if you want, or you can leave it blank. I'm going to leave it blank because it makes it easier for me to read. And then in this, we said we were going to put the minutes, and the minutes 
are out here. They're what we have out here in red. So pointing at our five with our long hand, pointing at five is 25. So we're gonna put two, five. And I read this like what? One, 25. 125. That's what time it is. It's 125. I can do the same thing over here, pointing at my hour hand. 125. All right. And that's how we read analog and digital out loud and writing one from the other and this one to that one. Great job today, guys.